Hello everyone, my name is Shirley and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here and you would like to improve in your MS skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to score A plus in your additional mathematics in SPM examination. Here we go! There are four simple steps that you can follow if you want to get A plus in additional mathematics. Step number one is to master the concept. Go and get a good reference book from the bookstore, and then go through the questions and examples and you try to do the exercises in the subtopics before you move on to the next chapter. Don't just read and memorize the working. Understanding is the most important. If you have any problem with the questions in the book, Refer to your school teacher or your tuition teacher or your friends who are pro in MS or maybe your siblings who have gone through SPM. I'm pretty sure that they'll be able to help you. Step number two would be memorize the formulas. Formula is the key to solve the question. Even though the formulas will be provided in examination, you need to know how to use it. So if the formulas are inside your head, you'll be able to answer the questions with no hassle. So how to memorize formulas? There are actually a few ways that you can use to memorize the formulas. First step is to do lots of practices. If you do lots of practices, automatically the formula will be in your head. Second is to write it down on a piece of paper many, many times. Third is to say it out loud many, many times, especially before you go to sleep. And fourth, Write it down on a sticky note and then you stick it on the places where you normally go to, especially in front of the mirror or maybe on the toilet mirror while you're brushing your teeth, you can look at it and then automatically the formula will go into your head. Step number three will be complete all your homework. So there must be a reason why school teachers gave you homework. It is because they want you to practice at home so that you can remember the steps and apply in your exam. And don't do it at the very last minute because we don't know what, how much time we need to solve the questions given to you. So it's best that once you get the homework questions, you do it on the same day. Then you don't have to worry anymore about your homework. Remember, don't procrastinate. Method number four would be practice all state trial papers as well as SPM pass your papers. Why? It's because if you do lots of questions, you'll be able to get used to their style of asking questions and then you'll be able to answer the questions with no hassle. When you encounter any problems, remember to refer to the reference book or maybe to consult the pros, okay, your school teachers, your tuition teachers, your friends or your siblings. Okay, I'm pretty sure that you will get the answer. And also get the papers with marking scheme will be better so that you can check all your answers yourself. Well, that's all for now. I wish all the best of luck to all the candidates who will be sitting for the SPM this year. And I hope you guys will keep on practicing, keep on learning and keep on watching my videos. And I hope to see you guys in my next videos. Bye guys!